Welcome everyone to the brand new track in Gran Turismo 7 is Lake Louise. Look how good this looks. Oh my word. <laughs> they have knocked out the park here with the uh, visuals. As yes, we're driving on a wheel in third person. Yeah, come at me, bro. But look at the grandstands. They're full. And it feels like it's a Olympic event or something. I'm just getting that sort of vibe. And uh, the big question is, how is it handling on the snow? And I have to say... I have to say, you know me, I really do not like the Gran Turismo physics on dirt, on loose stuff. It's really bad for me, you just float about. This is a lot better, it feels like I'm digging into the snow, as you might expect. And I'm actually getting a really good sensation through the wheel, it's reminding me how much better the force feedback is in Gran Turismo compared to Forza. It's not even close, like Gran Turismo force feedback is just a lot better. I'm playing on a Logitech G Pro, by the way. Use the code Kirith5, I believe Logitech gets a 5% off that. But here we go. Look at the way I'm able to just turn it in and it bites. You know in the loose stuff on Gran Turismo, so I'm thinking somewhere like Sardegna, windmills, you just sort of slide for ages. You slide laterally, but look here! I'm not slide- Oh, I've slid there a little bit, but I'm not sliding as much, look! I'm actually able to sort of pivot around the corner. And maybe I'm going to be a lot better than the AI here, actually. Should we go into cockpit view for you? Yes, we should. Let's go into cockpit view now. And this is the long layout, by the way, of Lake Louise. So I've never, literally never driven... In fact, no, I'm, I'm the first person in the world to drive this track. And I've... Oh, look at the grandstands up there. Again, I've complained, I've moaned a bit, I'll be honest, about the track detail, level of track detail in Gran Turismo being too low. That must be the pits there on the right-hand side. And uh, why is this split in two? Am I on the track or off the track? Oh, I've taken out some bollards. Here we go then. Can we actually get around this corner without just sliding too much? Yes, we can. Look at that. So there is a sensation, I mean, uh, this already for me is the best loose sort of track Gran Turismo has. Genuinely, like, you need to try this, even if you're thinking, oh, why do I want to be- oh no. Oh, oh dearie me. Even if you're thinking, why do I want to be in the snow, you know, I, I want to- I want a road track where there's been a lot of big YouTubers saying, oh, I want a lot more GT3 cars in the game, I'm not interested. We'll have to say, try this out first. Try it out first. This looks like it could be capable of being a track that delivers actually good racing because, oh, okay, there's a, there's some lateral sliding. There's some lateral sliding, but I probably just cooked it too much. And I don't know if it's because the loose tracks, you end up going on the dirt and then you end up on the grass and sliding, whereas here it's snow all the way. So you shouldn't, you know, you should dig in a little bit. But have a look at the tyres the rear tyres of the car, and you can just see all that movement of the suspension I am feeling in the wheel. You can see them going up and down? I'm feeling every single movement like that. I do have True Force on because I've got Logitech um, G Pro, which might be helping, but it's a very satisfying experience. These are my first impressions, my honest impressions. Make sure you subscribe, by the way. I know a lot of you are subscribed, but if you've seen a few videos and you're not, now's the time. Oh, no, no, no. Ah, oh, I needed to... Don't, don't lose this. Needs to give that full beans. Because I'm going to be covering a lot of stuff from this update. Maybe we're going to be coming home to Gran Turismo. Look at us kicking out. Look at it chewing up the dirt of the snow there at the back. Oh! I've got a bit of a moment on there. So we're going to win the inaugural race. Let me know in the comments what you think about this track. And I will see you in the next video.